Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing of the Army Painter Metallic Colors paint set. So this is something that is fairly unique to the Army Painter range as far as I could tell. And so this set here has a variety of colored metallics in it. I'm going to get this out here and I'm going to show you what we're looking at. Dump out all the literature. Army Painter paints, something I really like is any product that you get from them, they're going to have a ton of this uh, literature in here. Like, for example, the latest uh, color chart. So that's a nice little chart to hang up on your wall. A little bit of some tips on how to prep the paints and use the paints. They have uh, catalogs uh, and this cool um, War Gamers Army Painting Guide. These are also generally available at local game stores that sell the Army Painter, so you'll be able to pick up at least this guide for sure, and these come in all these different products as well. So that's kind of cool. I'm not going to go through the contents of those here, though. What we want to see right is the paints. And first off, love this touch. Comes with the mixing balls. You definitely want to put, I put two mixing balls in each of these paints to get them all shaken up. So what do we have for metallics? So these are colored metallics, and if you're a painter, a Citadel fan, these need to be definitely shaken fresh out of the box. If you're a Citadel fan, you won't be able to find a colored metallic. Best you're going to do is put down some like metallic silver and put a contrast paint over it. That does look pretty good. Curious to compare these to those. So we've got a nice red. Not seeing an orange in here. I like to do the rainbow thing, right? Red, orange, yellow. So we'll do a, there's pink, red, and then there's pink. Um, let's see, red, orange, yellow, green. We do have a glitter green there. That looks pretty neat. Again, we'll get these shaken up and we'll do some color videos on the detail of those. It's kind of a bluey purple. There's a purple purple. Metallic with that deep purple color. That'll be kind of fun. This would be fun for like some power weapons or something, maybe. Uh, here's oh here's another ooh, Azure Magic. Look at that. Okay, yes I said it Azure, so I've ousted myself as a, um, a cloud dev nerd there. Here's uh, some other cool colors here. You've got this evil chrome. Looks almost like a um, maybe a coppery or something. You got this really dark like a bronzy color. That's really neat. Definitely going to have to get those out and compare those to some of the other coppers and bronzes. Got a tainted gold. Looks like there's some green in there that's going to definitely need shaking up. Like a greenish gold. That's really cool. And then probably the one that I'm most excited for in this set. This is fairy dust. And apparently the idea is you dry brush this over any other paint and it gives it like a metallic-y feel. So... There you go. There's the uh, quick review of that. Hope that that uh, is our quick unboxing, rather. Hope that that's helpful is to kind of see what's in here. Kind of take a look at the bottles up close. Follow up with uh, putting some of these on the swatch sticks and taking a closer look at them dried, painted onto some actual plastic. All right, thanks for watching.